Did you know that your genes not only decide what you look like, they also decide how your body reacts to different foods and nutrients? You mean my genes decide what foods are best for me? Exactly. Many health problems like diabetes and cardiovascular disease are called diet-induced. This means eating wrong for your genes increases your chances of having these health problems. Really? Yes. A good example is the relationship between the APOE gene and fat. I know what fat is, but what is the APOE gene? APOE is a gene that transports cholesterol in our blood. We all have it. Oh, I see. But the type of APOE gene that I have may be a little different from the one you have. Really? How? There are three common genotypes of the APOE gene. They are called APOE2, APOE3, and APOE4. Each one is slightly different from the other. Your body reacts differently to fat depending on which genotype you have. Which APOE genotype do you have, Dr. Lee? I carry one copy of APOE2, but most people carry APOE3. About 20 to 30 percent of Africans and Caucasians and 10 percent of Asians and Hispanics carry APOE4. My genetic test says I carry two copies of APOE4. What does that mean? Well, I have good news and bad news. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. The bad news is that you have a higher risk for high cholesterol than most people. Oh, no! A higher risk? Am I doomed? Not quite. A higher risk means that if you eat a lot of certain foods, like high-fat foods, you're more likely to develop high cholesterol. But the good news is that you can lower your risk by making simple changes to your diet. Take a look at this chart. It shows how different APOE genotypes respond to fat. It looks like people who carry APOE4, like me, naturally have a higher cholesterol level, but eating high-fat foods makes it much worse. And people who carry APOE2, like you, naturally have lower cholesterol levels, and eating high-fat foods may not be a problem. Exactly. So you see, the differences in our genes make us respond to foods in different ways, which means there is no universal diet. So what you're saying is, I should eat an APOE4 diet, and you should eat an APOE2 diet, if we want to have the best cholesterol levels possible. Yes, but APOE and cholesterol is just one of many gene-food relationships. There are about 300 genes that affect our food choices and risk for disease. By understanding our genes and building our diets around them, we can effectively prevent many chronic diseases like diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart disease. So how can I make sure I choose the right foods for my genes and prevent disease? It's simple. GB HealthWatch is developing a gene-based nutrition program that you can easily follow online. Sign up at gbhealthwatch.com to see how it can work for you.